Hello everyone, Roy Ryer from SEO Training SW.com and I have a special guest that's come all the way up from Mexico to visit with us this week, Nicole Munez. And Nicole has a really fascinating story about how she got started in internet marketing and where she's at today. I first met uh, Nicole was back in 2007 in Atlanta. Um, she was just, I believe, probably a little over a year in internet marketing. And I mean, those of you that might be struggling with internet marketing or you think this is very hard, nothing compares what you know she faced. I'll kind of give you a little background about Nicole. Uh, Nicole's a U.S. citizen, but she does live in Mexico. Uh, she met her husband, and he's a, uh, a pastor, a missionary, and they've opened a church in a kind of a rural part outside of Mexico City. Uh, at that time, they you know really had really poor internet connectivity. But Nicole's pregnant with her second child, trying to figure out how to make a few little extra bucks to go to Starbucks. She's met, yes. it, right? <laughs> And she came up with this idea, well, maybe I could do some internet marketing. And it, this story just kind of spread from there. Nicole, you want to tell viewers a little bit about the early days, how you got all this started? Sure. Well, in the beginning, I found a link to buy a little ebook called How to Start a Yahoo Store. And the book talked about how to do market research. So we decided upon the category of camping gear and opened up a camping gear website and within 30 days of putting up our first store we ended up starting to get sales to that store and then um, with a few months later we learned about an info product called stomping the search engines and after buying that course and putting into action some of the things that we learned we were able to see that our site reached the top 10 of google for our keywords and sales exploded now very difficult niche if you think about it here, Nicole is competing against some very competitive big box stores selling camping equipment, but yet she was able to make it to the first page of Yahoo uh, for camping gear. And a couple of interesting things, you know, I want to bring up that she said. Number one, that she kept reinvesting her profits into her business. She's, she took the money and reinvested it into her education reinvested it into her products very early on, didn't take any really money out. You didn't go, well, go we, hog wild yes, at Starbucks exactly. yet. Exactly, no. In the <laughs> beginning, you have to understand money as missionaries in, in Mexico. Money was very tight. It was a big mm -hmm. concern. And so when I wanted to start this, it was I had to ask my husband for $50 to buy a book, and that was a major investment for well, us. I remember speaking to your husband, Arturo, about that. In fact, he's here. And I remember talking about that. He said, man, 50 bucks. It was like... That was a lot of money. It was a lot you know? of money. But you, you reinvested that money and you kept on building it. And another important thing that you said, that you kept on doing it. You, know, you, you had some roadblocks, I'm sure, early on and still today. But you, you figured out a way to go around them or go over that, right? That's right. Every roadblock was an opportunity to learn and to grow. Now, here's some interesting things. Nicole starts her business and a month later she's getting some sales. She reinvests her money into her business, buying some more products to learn how to do internet marketing. She's learning by doing. And something kind of happened in about six months. You, your sales basically exploded again. And initially you were doing drop shipping. And you got an interesting call from your drop shipper. You want to explain what happened? Well, basically, we uh, our drop shippers weren't able to keep up with all of our sales. They weren't able to keep up having enough inventory for us, the volume that we needed. So we decided to call the manufacturer and order direct from them. And so we ended up ordering. And um, in the beginning, since I do live in Mexico, I asked my dad, who works a full-time job, to accept these huge boxes of inventory that arrived and were in his garage. And so then in the evenings when he'd get home from work and on the weekends, he would be shipping out our product for us. Now, again, I, I met your dad, and I, I remember the story. He said, you know, I, I, this only lasted for a couple weeks, guys. I mean, he came home one day and opened his garage door to park his car in, and there were canoes in his garage. There were canoes. And, and he couldn't park his car in there. So it was at that juncture that your father decided they were going to rent a storage, well, initially it was a small storage container, but it ended up being a sort of a, a mini warehouse there in the beginning. Yes. And you hired your uncle? That's right. He still works with us today. All right. And now, so they ended up hiring the first employee, I guess, in the U.S., full-time, 
was her uncle, and now you have a lot more employees other than that. But still today, I mean, here we go, you know, from early beginnings, laying in a bed, pregnant with your second child, not knowing a thing about internet marketing. In fact, I remember the story that you didn't even know what an Excel spreadsheet was, right? No, I didn't. We ha I actually uploaded all 800 products to the store one at a time because I did not know what an Excel file was. Okay. So, you know, guys, you know, that you're watching this video thinking, well, you know, this is hard or I, I just don't understand this. You know, she stuck it out and she learned this stuff. And after she started learning, I think there was another major milestone uh, in your business where you started to outsource. Yes. And that's when you really exploded. You want to talk about that? Well, yes, we uh, knew that we needed to uh, continue to do SEO and link building for our website. So we began to hire uh, people overseas to do some of the routine tasks for our business. Now, what happened after that? I mean, you started getting outsources for your business, but people like me <laughs> and other internet marketers started calling you because we wanted to use your army, right? And that's exactly what happened. We ended up, we started with one, then I went to two, then five, then 10, and now we have a, basically a, a, a virtual army of link builders and content developers. And at that time, a few years ago, people started to find out that we had our outsourcing team and asked if they could you know, share resources with us. Mm -hmm. And now that has developed into what has become an SEO company. Now, you're in the process of actually opening an office here in Dallas, Texas. Yes, due to the changes in the Google algorithm, we found that Google really wants us to have more high quality content. So we're still going to be utilizing our, our outsourcers overseas for a lot of the routine tasks, but we feel it's very important to have a presence here in the United States where we can have high quality content and get high quality links for our okay. clients. Now, you said the Google algorithm change. Just to you know, clarify that, that you're talking about the Google uh, Panda update. Exactly. All right, and because of the Google Panda update, you know, one of the most important things is the quality of the content. In fact, CMOS um, had a post on that that right now, you know, 20% of the ranking of your website is determined on the quality of your content, right? Exactly. So, you know, so this is something that you know Nicole you know, really developed an army. Uh, very early on and she's developed an even stronger army and presence and if you really want to take you know your business to the next level something you really need to consider is outsourcing which comes to the next thing I like to talk to Nicole about uh, you know those of you that have been following us you're probably aware that we're putting together a video training series on SEO and internet marketing and one of the reasons Nicole's here today because we wanted to join forces and Nicole has agreed to basically manage and produce our segment on outsourcing. You want to talk about it a little bit about that? Sure, that's right. Well, outsourcing is one of my favorite topics to talk about. We, um, It's close to my heart. We have a huge, uh, like I said, a huge team, and there's a lot of tips and um, uh, things that we can talk about, about how to get started, how to do outsourcing the right way, how to find good people for your job, how to manage those projects, how to, how to make sure you have a successful project. You want to give our viewers maybe one tip one you know, really important tip that they could use today out of this video about outsourcing? Sure. Number one, go do it. Just take action. So go to websites like Odesk or get a freelancer and post up a project today for find, uh, write 10 articles about a specific topic. And you can specify there if you want to have articles written by people in the Philippines or in the US. And then when you have your requirements for the type of person that can bid on your project, make sure that they have at least billed one hour on the, 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 the site that you're posting on and make sure they have positive feedback from other providers, from other people that they have provided services for. And make sure that you also do it by piecework rate. We hardly ever hire by the hour, but we'll um, have a piecework rate and that'll help you to control your costs. And so you can only pay for an actual finished project. Now, along with joining forces about the training aspect, we also join forces and basically combine our armies over the course of this week. And where we're, you know, going to be offering, you know, links building services to both of us. Um, so those of you that perhaps, you know, cannot wait for Nicole's uh, upcoming series about outsourcing and perhaps you want to build up a, you know, 
uh, a good portfolio of backlinks to your websites that are not spam. These are actually good quality articles on good quality websites. You know, you could contact either Nicole or myself, and you know, we could discuss that with you. How can people get in touch with you, Nicole, if they want to talk to you about that? Sure, they should go to my website at www.startrankingnow.com. Okay, and how about an email address? Or? Sure, Nicole at startrankingnow.com, and glad to take care of you. And again, if you want to contact me direct, you know, Roy at SEO Training. And again, you know, Nicole and I, you know, we're, we've teamed up. So those of you that are looking to get some good, high-quality backlinks using Nicole's content writers and then the, the, back, uh, the linking strategies that we use to get good, high-quality links that are not going to be, you know, question because of the panda update you know this is something we can offer you uh hey guys you know i'm really looking forward to this you know relationship uh, i've known again nicole for many many years and i'm really really excited so you're going to see here here and see more of nicole in some upcoming videos uh about her successes and how what she's been able to do some tips and also some great outsourcing tips nicole thanks for coming out and sharing some of your information with our visitors and uh our people. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Uh, there's a comment section right below this video. If you have any comments about this video, about Nicole services, uh, you know, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.